Hello everyone. Happy National Storytelling Week. I'm here tonight in my bed and my pajamas to read you a bedtime story. Now, the story I'm going to read you was one of my favorite stories when I was a little girl. So I'm really excited to share it with you. You might have heard of it before. The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning and it can't be the boy from the grocer because it isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. And the tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could come and have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them up in one big mouthful. And still he looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. Look. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. <gasps> what a naughty tiger. So Sophie's mummy said, well, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and all the tins in the cupboard. He must be a very hungry tiger. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh, no. Look at mummy's face. She's looking a little bit worried. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. And then Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to the calf. There we are getting ready. 
So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the calf. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Mmm. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger was ever to show again. But he never did. The end. Really hope you've enjoyed that story. And I will see you soon. Thank you for listening. Bye, everybody.